Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakashan Tutorials. In this video, I am going to design Microstrip Low Pass Filter. Design and Analysis of Microstrip Low Pass Filter. This is the general structure of the Microstrip Low Pass Filter. The stepped impedance low pass microstrip filters use a cascade structure of alternating high and low impedance transmission line. So now we are in this general structure and this is uh, this transmission line and this one and this one is the 50 ohm transmission line this one and this one is the 50 ohm transmission line so this is high impedance transmission line that is inductance and this is low impedance transmission line that is capacitor so cascade structure of alternating high impedance and low impedance transmission lines so these are much shorter than sh much shorter than the associated guide wavelength so as to act as a semi lumped impedance the high impedance transmission lines act as a series inductance and low impedance transmission line act as a shunt capacitor so that is the brief introduction to the mic uh, microstrip low pass filter and this is 50 ohm transmission line high impedance transmission line that is inductor it act, it act as inductor and this is low impedance transmission line it act as a capacitor and this is high impedance transmission line it act as a inductor and this is 50 ohm transmission line so now i am going to design microstrip low pass filter using hfss software so open the hfss software so first draw the First, draw the uh, substrate, design the structure in the plane. So, select the box, draw the box anywhere in the plane. So, give the rename of this box 1, and this rename of this box 1 is substrate. And now here I am selecting the type of the material for material is FR4 epoxy. The type of the material is FR4 epoxy, and its relative permittivity constant value is 4.4. So now change the dimensions of the uh, substrate. So now here first uh, first choose the length and width of the substrate. Now the operating frequency is operating frequency is F is equal to 2.4 gigahertz and the type of the material for material is FR4 epoxy and its relative permittivity constant value is 4.4 and selecting height of the substrate is H is equal to 1.6 mm and selecting 50 ohm transmission line and uh, lambda by 2 50 ohm transmission line so using online calculator microstrip online calculator calculate calculate the length of the transmission line so in google chrome type microstrip line online calculator select the suitable parameter for the dielectric constant fr4 dielectric constant is 4.4 and height of the substrate is 1.6 and frequency is 2.4 gigahertz so 50 ohm transmission line and electrical length is lambda by 2 transmission line 180, 180 degrees and click uh, click on synthesis synthesize the width of the transmission line is 3.05 mm and length of the transmission line is 34.24 mm so approximately i am considering 34 mm so the length of the substrate I am considering 34 mm and width of the substrate is 24 mm. So now here I am considering substrate length is 34 mm and width of the substrate is 26 mm. Mm. So these are the dimensions of the substrate. So now change the dimensions of the substrate 
and this is x axis and this is y axis so now where the length i am considering the x axis so the length of the substrate is 34 mm and width of the substrate is 26 mm and height of the substrate is 1.6 mm and this is minus 1.6 1.6 mm minus 1.6 and position is and half of the x size value minus 17 mm and half of the y size value minus 13 mm before representing the negative sign and z portion is 0 mm so click the okay button so now here minus 13 mm so length and width of the substrate now draw the ground plane select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane so give the rename of the this rectangular sheet this is ground plane and change the dimensions of the ground plane the dimensions of the ground plane is same as that of the uh, length and width of the substrate so now the uh, length of the ground plane is 34 mm and width of the ground plane is 26 mm and position is and half of the x size value before representing negative sign value y position value is half of the y size value before representing negative sign value and this is ground plane is placed in below the substrate so z portion is minus 1.6 mm and this is ground plane and this is substrate so on the top of the substrate we can design micro strip low pass filter select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane and this rectangular sheet give the rename of this rectangular sheet this is 50 ohm impedance transmission line and now change the dimensions of the 50 ohm transmission line and for 50 ohm transmission line the uh, width of the transmission line is 3 mm and so now here this is a 50 ohm transmission line 50 ohm transmission line so now we are and selecting the uh, the length of the 50 ohm transmission line i am considering 10 mm and this is also 10 mm length of the transmission line and the length of the transmission line is 10 mm and this is 10 mm and width of the transmission line is 3 mm so this is 3 mm and total length of the substrate is 34 mm so this length is 10 mm and this length is 10 mm 10 plus 10 20 so now we are this i impedance transmission line is i am considering 5 mm and this is also i impedance transmission line this length is 5 mm 5 plus 5 10 so 20 plus 10 30 so 34 minus 34 so this low impedance transmission line length is 4 mm 
So using microstrip online calculator, calculate the width of the high impedance transmission line and low impedance transmission line. And for high impedance transmission line, I am considering that high impedance is 100 ohms. And high impedance transmission line, the length of the transmission line is 34. And uh, electrical length, I am considering 17. And uh, half of that length, length of the substrate. And dielectric constant is 4.4, dielectric height is 1.6, frequency is 2.4 gigahertz. Click synthesize button. And the width of the 100 ohm transmission line is 0 0.7 mm. 0 0.7 mm. And width of the high impedance transmission line. So using microstrip online calculator and low impedance transmission line, I am considering that low impedance transmission line is 30 ohms and select synthesize button. So for low impedance transmission line is the width of the transmission, uh, the width of the low impedance transmission line is 6.56 mm. So approximately I am considering 7 mm and this is the width of the low impedance transmission line. And this is the width of the high impedance transmission line. So now coming to the HFSS software and 50 ohm transmission line change the dimensions and this is x axis so that x size is uh, that length of the substrate is 34 mm and now we are the 50 ohm transmission line that length is 10 mm and width of the 50 ohm transmission line is 3 mm and here the position is and the length of the uh, substrate is 34 mm and half of its value is 17 mm and y position value is half of the y size value 1.5 before representing the negative sign press the ok button so now here this is minus 17 and x size is minus 10 ok so this is 50 ohm transmission line and another end of the 50 ohm transmission line copy this 50 ohm transmission line and paste change the dimensions so select the 50 ohm transmission line select control c and control v copy paste 50 ohm transmission line and this is the another end of the 50 ohm transmission line change the dimensions of this another end of the 50 ohm transmission line so now here position is minus 17 mm and this x size is 10 mm so this is another end of the 50 ohm transmission line so this is 50 ohm transmission line 50 ohm transmission line And next draw the high impedance transmission line and draw the rectangular sheet draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane so give the rename of this rectangular sheet this is high impedance transmission line high impedance transmission line So change the dimensions of the high impedance transmission line. So the length of the high impedance transmission line and this is the x axis. So the length is 5 mm. And width of the high impedance transmission line is 0 0.7 mm. 0 0.7 mm. And position, x position value is and the total length of the substrate is 34 mm and half of its value is 17 mm and 50 ohm transmission line x portion is located at 17 mm and subtracting 17 uh, 17 minus 10 so the high impedance transmission line x portion is 7 mm and this y portion value is half of the y size value before representing the negative sign so minus 0 0.35 so z portion is 0 
so click ok button so this is 50 ohm uh, high impedance transmission line and another end draw the 50 ohm transmission line and copy paste this 50 ohm transmission line select the high impedance transmission line control c control v and this is another end of the high impedance transmission line so change the dimensions of the this one and now here position is x position is minus 7 mm and this is 5 mm and this is another end of the high impedance transmission line which act uh, that high impedance transmission line act as a inductor next draw the low impedance transmission line select the rectangular sheet draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane so give the rename of this rectangular sheet and this is low impedance transmission line so change the dimensions of the low impedance transmission line and this is x axis the length of the uh, x size is and this is 10 mm 10 mm 10 plus 10 20 this is 5 mm 5 m 5 mm 5 plus 5 10 20 plus 10 30 and the total length of this substrate is 34 34 minus 30 4 mm so the length of the this low impedance transmission line is 4 mm so that is x size and width of the low impedance transmission line is 7 mm approximately I am considering 7 mm and this is 7 mm y size and position and x position is half of the x size value minus 2 mm and y position value is half of the y size value 3.5 before representing the negative sign z position is 0 mm press the ok button so this is the structure of the micro strip low pass filter design now select 50 ohm transmission line high impedance transmission line and low impedance transmission line so using control button select 50 ohm transmission line both the sides both the ends and high impedance transmission line both the ends and low impedance transmission line so click unite button click unite button all are unique and now select this 50 ohm transmission line unite and using control button select ground plane select ground plane so right click on this ground plane go to assign boundary select perfect E boundary click ok button so this is perfect electric boundary ground plane and transmission line 50 ohm low pass filter design transmission line and after that give the analysis setup go to HFSS analysis setup add solution setup and select advanced so now here my operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency and selecting maximum number of passes are 12 and maximum delta energy is and maximum delta energy is 0.02 so press ok button and right click on the setup one go to add frequency sweep so now we will select the sweep type is fast and minimum operating frequency is starting frequency is 1 gigahertz and ending frequency is I am selecting 5 gigahertz and step size is I select the linear count and the points I am selecting 101 points so next select the radiation box go to the model in the project manager right click on the model create open region 
and my operating frequency is 2.4 gigahertz and click ok button and this is the open region and this is perfect electric boundary next draw the ports So now select the YZ plane. So draw the rectangular port, port 1 and port 2 in YZ plane. And select the rectangular sheet, draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. And give the rename of this rectangular one is port 1. and change the dimensions of the port 1 and the y size and width of the 50 ohm transmission line is 3 mm so the y size is 3 mm and the z portion is height of the substrate this is minus 1.6 mm and position and uh, length of the substrate is 34 mm and half of its value is 17 mm And y position is half of the y size value minus 1.5 mm, z position is 0. And copy this port 1, select the port 1, press ctrl C and ctrl V and port 2, change the dimensions of the port 2 and this portion is minus 17 mm, so click the ok button and rotate the structure and this is port 2. Now assign lumped port excitation port 1 and port 2. So first select the rectangular sheet port uh, first select the rectangular sheet 1 or port 1. Right click on the port 1. Go to assign excitation. Select lumped port. Click the next button. Take the new line integration. So draw the new line integration from lower port to the upper port. So port 1 is successfully defined. Click the next button. Finish. And this is port 1, lumped port excitation and rotate the structure assign second port, lumped port excitation select second port, right click on the second port go to assign excitation, select lumped port click the next button take the new line integration draw the new line integration from lower port to the upper port So port 2 is successfully defined, click the next button, finish. This is second port. So now coming back to the XY plane. Select the radiation box. So this is the design of the microstrip low pass filter. Now check the validation, go to the simulation, select validate. So all are, all are successfully corrected. So the design is successfully validated. Now start the simulation. Press analyze all.
So simulation is successfully completed. Now observe this parameter value. So go to the results, right click on the results, select create model solution data report. Go to the create model solution data report, select rectangular plot, select S11. S21 in decibel, click the new report. So mark the designated operating frequency. My designated operating frequency is 2.4 GHz. So at 2.4 GHz, the return loss value is minus 31.06 decibel. So at 2.4 GHz operating frequency, micro ship transmission line low pass filter successfully designed and simulator next observe the radiation pattern so now we are the far field radiation pattern the azimuthal angle is and 3d structure the pi value is minus 182 plus 180 and theta is 0 to 360 degrees so go to the results, right click on the results, go to create for fields report, select radiation pattern, select the gain in decibel, select the particular family functions. Now the pi is all values mean minus 182 plus 180. So now we are selecting particular angles minus 180 degrees. Minus 90 degrees. 0 degrees and 0 degrees 90 degrees and plus 180 degrees and click the new report so this is the two dimensional gain radiation pattern and directivity radiation pattern and observe the field orientation select the structure right click on the structure go to plot fields and select electric field magnetic and start the animation so this is the magnetic electric field magnitude of the electric field magnitude of the electric field This is vector electric field orientation and observe the visualization.